Very good. Can you tell me what you want to be when you grow up? Um, a veterinarian. A veterinarian. And why do you want to be a veterinarian? To take care of animals. That's wonderful. Hello, I'm Troy Puckett, a 1997 graduate of Cary High School, a veteran of our armed services, and a doctor in the community. Reagan dreams of being a veterinarian one day, and what a great dream that is. However, to accomplish her dream, Reagan must have an educational environment that is able to meet her needs and the needs of all Cary students. An environment that not only provides her with a caring, nurturing teachers, but also exposes her to the necessary skills required to meet the demands of a 21st century education. Our current facility was constructed in 1921, with additions completed in 1929, 54, and 63. For many years, the leaders of our school district have worked diligently to maintain the functionality of the building through mandatory maintenance, updates, moderate renovations. However, it is becoming quite difficult to prepare our children for the workplaces of today and tomorrow in a building from yesteryear. As a first year kindergarten teacher, I never realized how much space that I would not have with 25 kindergarten students. There's not enough space to get them up and moving around. They are five and six year olds and I like to do jumping jacks a lot with them when we're learning our sight words but it's just kind of impossible to do because there are so many of them and there's not enough space in my classroom. When we work in small groups or I work one-on-one -on -one with students I have no room to kind of separate myself from the rest of the classroom. We do centers with computers but the computers are so close to the rest of the group that other kids are going here and, and looking at what's going on. There's kind of hard for them to work when there's people looking over their shoulders. We don't have a restroom in our classroom and a lot of times I'm sending them out by tables and it's kind of a safety concern for them because they are going on their own. So it's just kind of hard and it'd be so much easier if I had a bathroom in my classroom and they could go whenever they needed to. This is my 13th year teaching at Cary, and I've seen a lot of changes, but there are more changes that need to happen if our students today are to succeed in the future. Uh, currently in my science room, I do not have the facilities to do the experiments and do the activities that these students need to have. Uh, having the opportunity of a brand new facility that we can put the equipment in that we need, such as eye wash stations, Event hoods and the overall space, something that I lack in my classroom. Right now, the kids that come to the class that I've had over the 13 years have done an excellent job. They work hard, the teachers here work hard, but we're not getting everything out of the students because we do not have the facilities to do it. Unfortunately, the current facility is struggling to keep up with the demands being placed upon it. Our solution is to build a new home for learning. The 40-acre campus is located off Van Street and is right next to Memorial Park. The close proximity to the park will present our students and teachers with new learning opportunities. This new facility and location will address safety issues, learning spaces, technological growth, storage capacity, and overall accessibility to the building. However, to make this a reality, we need your help. The state of Ohio is offering our district 70% of the total cost to build a new facility. And we are asking the voters of Cary Exempted Village Schools to approve a 6.5 mil bond issue that will generate our 30% share of the total project cost. This is a tremendous opportunity to build a better future for our kids. As a community, I believe that we have an obligation to not only provide an education for our children, but also plan for the future. On May 7th, we ask for your support to help give Reagan the best possible chance of making her dream of becoming a veterinarian 